So this section, we are expanding binomials. So 4x minus 2y to the fifth power. If we were to multiply this out by hand, we would have 4y minus 2y, or 4x minus 2y, five times. Okay, one common misconception we see here is you just want to distribute that five. That's not right. You would have to write out the binomial how many times and then multiply over and over and over again until you get six terms. So the question's asking, it has six terms, are these the correct six terms? And we're gonna use Pascal's triangle to expand this out. So Pascal's triangle is a pattern triangle. Um, if I start with ones, three ones, and then I continue ones on the outside making a triangle, I would add the two numbers above. So that'd be one, two, one. This would be row zero, row one, row two. So if I wanted row three, same thing. Those would add to three, those would add to three, and then ones on the outside. That would be row three. I want row five because it's to the fifth power. So I'm going to keep going with the triangle. If you go to the textbook on Canvas, it actually has the triangle. It looks like out to row seven. And so you could just copy down what you need. I'm going to finish the triangle so you can see the pattern. So one, one plus three, four, three plus three, six, four, one. So that's row four. And our next one's row five. So five, six plus four, ten, ten, five, one. So these are my starting coefficients when I expand. So I'm expanding 4x minus 2y to the third. These take a lot of space. So first thing, you're going to write these out with a lot of space in between. So 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And then I'm going to write 4x and negative 2y next to all of those numbers. See, I should have put more space. So once you have those written out, now we're going to assign some powers. And we're going to start with power 5. So 4x to the 5th power, and then we're just going to count down. That's to the 4th, that's to the 3rd, 2, 1, 0. And then our y's go backwards. The 5 starts at the end, and then we count down to the beginning. So notice that my exponents always add to 5. 5 plus 0, 4 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 2 plus 3, and so on. So this is the setup. These are our terms. We're adding them. And now we have to simplify, and it just kind of takes a while. Because we couldn't distribute the 5 here because we were subtracting terms. But when we're multiplying terms, we can distribute that 5. So this is 4 to the 5th, x to the 5th. And then anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So that just goes to 1. So our first term is 4 to the 5th, x to the 5th. 4 to the 5th is 1024, x to the 5th. So already have an incorrect term. But let's keep going. So now we have plus 5 and then times 4 to the 4th times x to the 4th and then negative 2 to the first power y to the first power. And I'm going to calculate all these numbers. So 
5 times 4 to the 4th times negative 2 to the first power, which is still just negative 2. So negative 2560, that's our coefficient. And then x to the 4th, y to the 1st, which you don't have to write the first power. So that's our second term, which is correct. Okay, let's look at our third term. That's right here. So I have plus 10 times 4 to the third, x to the third, negative 2 squared, and y squared. And again, all the numbers are just going to go into decimals. So this time I have 10, 4 to the third, Make sure you put parentheses around a negative and that negative to square. So positive 2560 x cubed y squared. That's our third term. So that one's not correct. Let's look at our next one. So we've done one, two, three. Now we're on this one. We have 10 times, I'm going to distribute 4 squared x squared, negative 2 to the third power, y to the third power. Again, I'm going to put all that in decimals. We get a lot of the same numbers, so I just turn them. That's negative 1280. And then x squared, y cubed. That one is good. Okay, next one is this. Sorry, I'm not aligned. So 5 and then 4 to the first power, x to the first power, negative 2 to the fourth power, y to the fourth power. So now when I put this in, my front number is 5, 4 to the first negative 2 to the 4th is positive 320, and I have x to the 1st, y to the 4th, that one's good. And then the last one goes quick because we have the 0 power, so anything to the 0 power is 1, and then negative 2 to the 5th, y to the 5th. So remember when you take the power of a negative, make sure you put it in C's. So that comes out to negative 32 y to the fifth. Oh, six. That's not right. That should be a five. So we have three correct terms. So that takes a while, but remember that it's a lot faster to expand that way than actually multiplying out five times. Let's do another one. This one's faster because there's no number by x or y. So look at your exponent, 6. That means we need to use row 6. So row 6 is 1, 6, 15, 20. Remember you have to leave lots of space. And then it mirrors itself, 15, 6, 1. It's gonna run out of room. And then you write x next to all of them. Your first term in the binomial. And then the second term in the binomial is negative y. Remember the sign. So negative y all the way through. Now start with your exponent on the x. So 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then it's backwards with the y. So 6 at the end. And then I'll count backwards down to 0. Okay, that's the setup. Now we're 
we're gonna simplify. So anything to the zero power is one, and then I said this one's easier because there's not any other coefficients to worry about, so this would just be x to the sixth, and then this would just be six, but we have x to the fifth and then negative y to the first power. So what we would do is we would make this positive y and then change the negative sign in between. Okay, next one, plus 15 x to the fourth. So here we have a negative y squared. So if we take a negative number times a negative number, we're going to get a positive number. So this stays positive y squared. And plus 20 is cubed. Here we have negative y times negative y times negative y. It doesn't matter what y is, we just know that our answer is going to be negative. Because two negatives make a positive, and then a positive times a negative will be negative. So I'm going to do what I did last time, and I'm going to change this plus out here to a minus. So notice the signs. I have a minus plus minus. Because this is y to the fourth power, it's going to be plus. And then here, to the fifth power, well, times again, it'll be negative. y to the sixth power will be plus. It alternates. But let's keep copying. We have 15x squared, y to the fourth, 6x to the first, y to the fifth, and the negative's out there already. And then just y to the sixth. So it is, I think it's the third one. Yep. Okay, I have a lot of examples on here. Let's do one more. Okay, so three is exponent. That means that we need to go to row three. So one, three, three, one. And then you copy each term. So 5x, x to all of your numbers from the row. 5x, 5x, 5x. And then same thing with the second term. 2y, 2y, all the way through. And then we'll add some exponents. So start with what you're given and then count down. <clears throat> and then the y's go the separate way. Anything to the zero power is one, but we have to distribute that exponent. So I'm going to ignore that one. And do five to the third, x to the third. Five to the third is 125. And then we have x to the third power, so that one's right. And now I have three times five squared, x squared, times two to the first, So just the numbers here. 3 times 5 squared times 2. And I'm going to put to the first power because I'm going to <clears throat> go back and reuse those numbers. So that's 150 x squared y. So that one's not right. Let's look at the other one. 3 times 5 to the first x to the first. 2 squared, y squared. So this time our numbers are 3, 5, 2 squared. That is 60, x, y squared. Um, so that one's not right. That's our last one. So this one, the 1 isn't going to change anything. That's a 1. So I have 2 to the 3rd, y to the 3rd, and that is 8, right? So 8y cubed, and that's not right because that's a 4. 
So there's only one correct term out of all of those. So on these other ones, you would take whatever the exponent is, and that's the row that you pick. And then make sure you copy each term all the way through, change the exponents, and simplify. And that's called binomial expansion using Pascal's triangle.